Hello, hello. How is everybody? Colleen here with Chaka Tour. Getting ready to come in live with some ink today. Changing things up from Halloween a little bit. So we're going to try ink, which sometimes I have luck with and sometimes I don't. So we'll see how it goes today. I think it just depends on the different surfaces that I'm using with ink is why I sometimes have issues. So we're going to give it a shot. So I have a whole um, placement setting for, hello Meg, that I'm going to do. So I have my placemat, I have a mug, I have a little sugar canister, and I also have a towel. So I'm going to try to go through all of these things real quick. They should be fairly quick, I think. It's just going to be putting the ink on and heat setting it and then I'll do the final heat setting um, after the live but I'll explain how that works so for right now I have my ink mat behind this this is just a place setting that I picked up and um, the reason that I was doing this is because I kind of wanted to make a new uh, display piece for when I do vending events so I thought if I had a, a cute little kitchen setting that would show off our um, chocotour stuff that would be pretty cool plus it's also awesome because you can make it for yourself or your own home so um, it's a win-win so what I would like to do is use my um, teal ink I still have the two ounce jar of teal ink now they have a, a new three ounce which is still teal but I think it might be called a different name so I'm just gonna give this a quick stir with our multi-use tool and ink you usually don't really have to stir but I usually just give it a quick stir just to be on the safe side. So I have everything already set to go so that that would take a little less time. So I'm going to use our Mama's Kitchen on the placement setting with our teal ink. And again, I have the placemat behind it. So I'm just covering the silk screen area with the teal ink. I think teal and gray look so pretty together, so that's why I kind of chose that color. So again, just covering the silk screen area, making sure I cover all the little pieces here. And then taking any excess ink off and getting all my lines out like that. Oops, I see a few little lines. So I just go a little lighter with my last pass just to get any of those lines out and put the excess that I have on my squeegee right back into my jar. And then it's really important, I'm gonna grab a paper towel because I have a very bad habit of getting ink on my nails, so, or on my fingers. So just make sure that your hands are completely free of ink before you pull up because you don't wanna to accidentally touch another area where you might have some on your fingers. So we're just going to, I'm trying to grab this, like so. And then we try to pull evenly across so that we're not stretching our transfer. Perfect. That came out awesome. So I actually forgot to put water in my tray, so let me do that real quick. I can't believe I forgot that. Let me do that real quick. And so what we do is once we have um, the transfer off, and I have my transfer over here now in my water bath so that that takes the ink off of my transfer, we're going to heat set this with just an iron. I mean, sorry. First we're going to heat set it with a hair dryer, and then the final step will be an iron. So let's just heat set this real quick. So that's still a little tacky, so I just want to let that, I'm going to take that off to the side for now. And then once that is completely dry, I would take a, um, I have it right here, like a small piece of parchment paper, and then just iron that 
for four minutes and that's all you need to do to make that permanent so that will be heat set in you can wash it and it's not going to come off before you use the iron on it though make sure that you remove your um, your ink pad from behind it because you don't want to melt that so just put your parchment paper down and heat set that with an iron so that's part one of my place setting part two is going to be I'm just going to use my ink mat for a second to hold this straight is I bought a like a gray to match the the place setting a gray mug and I'm going to ink again with the teal just to kind of keep it all gray and teal themed I'm gonna um, use the chalk ink or the couture ink on here for the butt first coffee which I thought was so cute and because this is an odd shape I'm just making sure that all the silk screen area doesn't have any bubbles you can see how it's kind of pulled here that's okay just so long as the silk screen area itself does not have any bubbles we should be good so let's grab our squeegee again and cross our fingers that this is going to come out okay just sometimes I'm I don't have any issues with ink and other times I do and it's and it is just me it's just me not being patient me not being careful and winding up having ink on my fingers and touching somewhere so so long as you're careful and you take your time it's really not hard to do and it the um, the finished product is so amazing once you're done so let's just get all that excess off and again, I, do, I did it again. I got ink on my fingers like I always do. So we just check that to make sure. We don't have any ink anywhere. So that when we take it off, I'm not accidentally touching somewhere else. So let me just try to grab this from both ends. I think I got everything covered. Let's see. We're just going to use the same amount of force across the silk screen, across the transfer to remove it. And let's cross our fingers. Oh my gosh, that came out perfect. Yay! I love when it goes well. So that is our second piece to our table setting. So again, we're gonna take our hair dryer and just make sure that we're getting the ink dry. So the final step with anything um, that you ink on this type of surface would be to bake it. So what you need to do is you need to put this in a cold oven. Ah, oh, thanks for the thumbs and hearts up. Hey, Kristen. Um, you need to make sure that you put this in a cold oven. I usually put it on a um, on a cookie sheet on a, in a cold oven. Turn it to 350. Hi, Donna. Turn it to 350 for 30 minutes and then turn the oven off and leave the mug in the oven um, until the oven gets cooled off again. Just be careful because the mug, even though the oven is cooled off, the mug is still going to be hot. So just use um, uh, like a mitts, oven mitts and remove it. And then you are good to go. That then will be heat set and you can put it in the dishwasher and it is perfectly fine. Um, so that's part two of our place setting is our mug. So let me just set that off to the side here. Part three is this adorable little um, little jar that I found and I was just going to write sugar on it. Now unfortunately the G does come down a little below um, the little space that they have indented in here but I still think it's going to be okay. Again just make sure that you have all of your bubbles or lines because it, it is not perfectly straight. So you kind of have to do your best to make sure that you're not feeling any bubbles in there. And for this, I think I'm going to use our, our white ink on this instead of the teal. So let's open up our white ink. And same thing. So long as it is, uh, it can be put in the oven, then you are good to do that. Just make sure that it's not like powder coated or something like that because I don't think you can put that in the oven. Um, but these kinds of jars, anything that's oven safe, you can put couture ink on. Um, I would not recommend, well, you can't really use it with like on a plate where you're going to put food on it. Then if you're going to do that, I would just put some saran wrap on top because this is not food safe or couture ink, just so you're aware of that. I'm a little 
worried about how this is going to come out because it's not fitting perfectly in the space, but we'll see. We'll see how it comes out. Again, just making sure I'm trying to cover all that area. I just got to lift it up so I can see because my lighting in here is not great. Just making sure that's fully coated like so. Getting all that excess back off into our jar. Put that to the side. Let's see. Oh, check my fingers again to make sure that I don't have any ink. I have a little bit of white ink on my finger. And then we can go ahead and remove this. So let's see how this came out. Okay. Yeah, it did because of this lip here. It kind of bubbled here, but you know what I can do? It's because, I don't know if you guys can see this, because there is an indented space in the glass, so it just kind of bubbled right there. But what I can do is I can take a Q-tip and just clean that up. Not a big deal. And you want to do that before you heat set it. So, yeah, can you guys see that? See how it just kind of dripped because of the bump in the ledge here? So let, let me grab q-tip real quick see if we can clean some of this up a little bit so here in my ass you see how it kind of came down here so we're just gonna try to pull some of that excess ink off like so and it is a little difficult because of that bevel right there in the glass thinking I might want to use a craft stick instead because this just seems to be smearing it. Let me see. Let me grab one more Q-tip and try. Let's see here. It's kind of hard to see too. There we go. We got it, got it a little bit better. Same with the R. It kind of globs some of the ink right here because of the beveling in the glass. I could have probably moved that up just a smidge. And then it might not have been hitting the bottom so much. But we'll clean, I'll clean that up before I heat set that and then we'll post a final picture so you guys can see. But that's what I was concerned about because of the bevel in there that that was going to happen. But I'll clean that up off camera and then we'll show you a picture of how I was able to clean that up but definitely just take your time with your q-tip and then um, you can get any of that off final piece to our place setting is going to be a towel and I thought I would do because I said so on here now this one I'm a little concerned about because this towel is very bumpy I don't know if you can see it so I'm not quite sure how the ink is going to come out on here, but it is just a dollar store towel, so I figured no harm, no foul if it doesn't come out. So again, I'm taking my backer here just to make sure that my ink does not bleed through. And it also is sticky, so it holds your towel in place while you're inking it. So again, because this has gray on it, I'm going to go ahead and use the teal. I'm going to grab a new squeegee because that squeegee is starting to dry out a little bit on my squeegee. So. Again, we're just doing the same process again, this time on a towel. So a couple different surfaces that we're using here today, all with the same ink. Like I said, I'm a little concerned that this isn't going to come out perfect because of the texture of the towel, but we'll see. Not a big deal if it doesn't, because it was only a dollar store one. Hey, Debbie. How are you? Hope you're doing well on a Sunday. Enjoying the, uh, the day off. I'm going to make sure I'm putting a good amount of ink on this only because of the texture of the towel. And then that way I'm making sure that it's kind of getting into all the nooks and crannies. And like I said, we'll give it a whirl. This was kind of my, this was all just from the dollar store. And like I said, just for testing out a complete place setting so we can see how it looks. So again, checking fingers, and I, of course, have ink on my finger again, just making sure that we don't have that before we remove our transfer. I think we're good. And then we're going to just pull this down. Let's see how this comes out. 
I think I'm just gonna have to break down and get like better quality towels to try this on because I really don't really don't have a good feeling about this but we'll see okay well it's not terrible but it definitely I need a better quality towel I'm just placing my transfer over here in ink and water so that I can get that. Um, oh, rainy day in Kentucky, huh? It's supposed to be rainy later on, I think, but we had a lot of rain yesterday. And uh, I think we're supposed to get some later on, but for right now, it's actually pretty beautiful out. I'm going to take my hair dryer to this just to heat it again. <laughs> And that would be the same process. You would remove your backing from here so you don't melt that with the iron. And then um, you just use your parchment paper, same process, parchment paper on here and use your iron for four minutes and that will be permanent as well. And then you can wash that same thing with the, um, the, with the placemat. So let's pull everything back in and I'll show you this was kind of my vision for this place setting. And again, this was going to be for, for my display table. So there's our towel, which is, again, not the best quality towel, and that's why it doesn't look 100% perfect, but you can kind of get the gist of what I was going for there. So we have our placemat with Mama's Kitchen. We have our towel, and we have our sugar and our coffee. So that is everything. Let's see if you can see this. I'm just waiting for the uh, iPad to catch up. So I'll just lay this down here so you can see the sugar and the coffee mug. So how adorable is that? So you've got your whole, this was all from the dollar store. So you've got your whole place setting using teal and white ink. And that's it. Can you guys see that? Let's see if you can see the, the mug. Oh, thanks, Debbie. Yep, so that was what my vision was for today. So I thank you for stopping by, and I'll put the link to my online store in the comments below, and I'll also take a picture um, so that you guys can see it all set up. And again, remember, just iron for both of these surfaces because they're cloth on uh, a hot iron for four minutes. And then these two can be baked in an oven for 350 for 30 minutes and then leave it in the oven until your oven is completely cool. And then they will be heat set as well. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.